Hello students, this is Vinod from Endurance Engineering Academy. So, uh, there is one question which I wanted to clarify with students, okay. So, is steady material really necessary for gate exam preparation? Do I need to buy a steady material? Do I need to buy uh, printed materials uh, for uh, my preparation? Is it really necessary? Okay, so we will understand that. Let us start the video. Okay, see first of all you need to understand one thing. What is more important rather than what is not important, right? What is more important? You need to attend the class. See if you are if you are if you are going for uh, coaching online coaching or offline coaching or something, you attend the class. Okay, you attend the class. After attending the class, take the notes properly from the class and that is your main notes. Okay? Your main notes is necessary. There is nothing which is going to be a substitute for your main notes. Nothing. Nothing is going to be a substitute for your main notes. So you need to take notes from the class, handwritten notes, no doubt about it. Okay. Next. Next, you need to prepare your short notes. Suppose if you are not able to prepare your short notes um, with the help of, uh, what is that? Uh, like if you have very less time, you are not able to prepare short notes. That time you can take, uh, take help from revision notes. Okay. Revision notes which will be available, which many institute offers. You can take it and then you update it you need to write it you need to update it in that so revision notes it's fine you can take help but the main steady material is something which you need to prepare from your own notes there is something called as effort principle okay what does mean by even short notes also i'm not recommending you to go buy anything okay short notes also you need to write it with your own hand but if suppose very less time i have very less time sir only three months are there that maybe you can you can go for it but that is also you need to keep it in the last option okay right now coming to there is something called as effort principle what does it mean by effort principle more the effort you do more will be the outcome okay so you, you would have seen that right in our school days in our school days if something they ask us to read it if i read it or else if i see that and if i write and read it you would have seen it there are two things i can directly read it suppose let us consider you are reading a poem Okay, we're re re reading a poem from your English, okay, English subject. Uh, so you are reading the poem, instead you are seeing the poem, you are writing it and parallel you are reading it. Which one will be more effective? Obviously, writing parallel reading. That is what you guys need to do when you are preparing your main notes and short notes. You need to write, but you need to think parallelly. You need to read it parallelly so that it will directly get stored in your mind. Obviously, it will get stored in RAM only. You need to convert it into hard disk with the help of uh, periodical revision. But anyways, this effort which you are doing in writing is going to be more useful rather than just reading it. So I will recommend all my students who are attending my session or who are, uh, who are attending my course or test series, anything. The one thing very strictly you need to write everything whichever is discussed in the course and you need to update it regularly from the test series uh, from the questions you solve so the updation regular updation of notes and regular uh, the notes which you are taking properly all those things are necessary buying steady material buying handwritten notes buying some revision notes never going to help you that printed notes or handwritten notes if you buy from some others it's not going to help you if you write your own notes from the course, from the coaching, that is something which is going to be useful. See, if you are not going for coaching, if you are preparing by self, then, then prepare your notes. Prepare your own notes. You refer to something. You refer to some uh, test books, some standard books, and then prepare it. Prepare your own notes. Rather than depend, rather on depending on only the printed materials, it's not going to work out. Okay. So, why I am saying it very strictly? See, few, there are few strategies which I will say that uh, it may work or it may not work because for few of them, um, they have a different way of approach. So few things will work and few things won't work. But this is something which has to be followed by everyone because it will work for everyone. And uh, there is no doubt about it. There is no doubt about it. So please avoid studying from the steady materials. See, one thing I can suggest to you, use the steady material as an add-on. Use it as an add-on, which means first you uh, listen to the class, take notes, then you refer the steady material if there is any extra points you updated in your notes but don't depend completely on the steady material that is what my suggestion is okay so i hope you got it i hope you got what is the point which i was trying to say okay right so that's it uh, that's what uh, i wanted to say to the students who are uh, preparing for gate so i hope this video will be very useful for you because if you have any confusion related to 
how I can depend on the study material, whether I need to depend or uh, what I should do. Okay. So that's it. And uh, thanks for watching. If you feel that this video is going to be helpful for the other students, you can share with them. Okay. Thank you.